It's time for Show Off Sunday, where everyone has a chance to show off their own car, and here's this week's winner. is my 2009 Camry LE. It is the pinnacle of luxury, performance, and reliability. In October of 2008, the recession was in full swing and my father lost a lot of money. So he tried to buy a used car at first. He went through, he looked at three used cars and they either had major uh, issues with them or the owner just wouldn't budge on the price. And my dad got sick of it and he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna lease a new Toyota Camry. And this is all he could afford. Normally he would have all the bells and whistles, but this time he couldn't get all of it. This car was abused heavily, actually, in the 10 years my dad's owned it. The only thing my dad really did to spoil the car is um, oil changes. That's about it. My dad was hard on the accelerator. He would turn, you know, he, he would just do the basic maintenance of it. And then finally, May 18th of 2018, my dad decided he was sick of this car and he was going to go and get himself a new car. And thus, he decided to give his car to his spoiled, acne-ridden teenage son. I have also taken horrible care of it. All I do is oil changes, um, I try to do burnouts in this, I've tried to drift in this. Being the pinnacle of luxury and class, of course, this is equipped with the best features, such as these nice rims emblazoned with the Toyota logo in them. All the latest safety features such as side view mirrors. Now before we start the car, let's begin with the features that don't require the car to be started. I have a total of three cup holders and being the true blooded American I am, I will fill all three of these cup holders with extra extra large Cokes from McDonald's with ice in them. A cubby to store whatever objects I need. I, I don't have just one, but two cigarette lighters. A glove compartment for extra storage. This isn't even in some Lamborghinis. And along with that, I got nice, plush fabric seats. Now that we've gone over all the numerous luxurious features without even turning on the car, let's begin with what happens when you finally turn the car on. Now, if you take your eyes on the stereo right here, you start the car, the light flickers open, and my Camry welcomes me. I don't think your Mercedes or Rolls Royce does that. And while we are on the topic of the stereo, let's begin with the radio. This car has an AM and FM receiver, so you get FM1 with six radio presets, but you also get FM2, with six more radio presets, with a total of 12 radio presets. You also get AM radio, and you get six ones for that. And you have a CD player. Most peasants, when they need to control the stereo of their car, will have to turn a knob or something. Not this car! Right here, steering wheel controls. You can make it louder, decrease the volume, and moving on to the climate control system. I do have working AC. I also have little presets where I can have it blow just on my face, my face and my feet, just my feet, or the defroster along with my feet. And not only that, but we do have power windows. So unlike those of lower class, I don't have to crank my privileged arm tiring it out. Instead, I just flip a lever. Left and right indicators. I don't think BMW drivers have that. And I also have windshield wipers. And if you look over at the speedometer and tachometer, the dashboard, as you can see, this car does have 
over 221,000 miles. Reliability is a great feature and not present in all cars. We do have a pretty little light show right here. On release, my Toyota Camry LE would have output about 150 horsepower in its i4 engine. It would be doing 0 to 60 in about 8.5 to 9 seconds. However, now, after over 200,000 miles, 10 years, I highly doubt it makes that horsepower anymore. I don't know the exact numbers anymore, but I do know that the 0 to 60 of this car is now at about 12 to 13 seconds. Fuel injectors, <laughs> there's no carburetor. That's all much to say about this engine. Nothing too special about it besides its reliability. Oh, but it has started burning oil. That's, that's one thing. Now, it would sound like that I'm bashing my car that my father gave me and that I'm an ungrateful, spoiled brat. I am not ungrateful about this car. I do love this car. And this video is almost like a appreciation letter to this Camry. That despite the 11 years of abuse that my father and I have, and I have put it through, over 221,000 miles with this family, it still keeps going strong. It just refuses to die. I really do like this car. It's my car, I guess. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Thank you so much for watching. Well, that was this week's video. And remember, to have your car video highlighted here on my channel, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.